Hello my lovelies and welcome back to All About Jamie. I'm sure each and every one of us have an insecurity on some part of our faces. And for me lately, it has been my dark eye circles. But I figured out a way to make them look better and I want to share it with you guys. I'm sure many of us battle with the problems of having dark circles or dark eye rings. For me, I've had it since I was young, like these dark shadows under my eyes. And they become more apparent if I don't get enough sleep or enough rest or if I'm having like a nasal congestion. My dark circles tend to look more obvious. So instead of losing confidence in myself because I'm having dark circles, I have to come up with ways and means of concealing them so that I feel more confident when I go out and that I could hide them away from the rest of the world. I've got my skincare on already and uh, I'm going to show you what I use on my eyes to just smoothen them out. Thankfully, I don't have the problem of having many wrinkles around my eyes. That's because probably my eyes are not that big. I feel that uh, the bigger the eyes, the more wrinkles tend to form around them. So yeah, self-consolation. My eyes are not big, therefore God gave me less wrinkles. You can choose to also combat your dark circles with eye mask or even like cooling mask so as to ensure that the blood circulation is good. You can also massage them nightly to reduce the dark shadows. So I'll be using these products today to conceal my dark circles as well as to put on my base. So let's get started guys on my first step. I am going to depuff my eyes firstly with the Lift and Depuff Advanced Eye Serum from Eyes Secret. This serum helps a lot with depuffing my eye area. Just going to dab a little of the serum and take care not to over hydrate or over moisturize your eye area because then the products that you'll be using on this area next will just be like sitting on top and not blending into your skin. I also like to massage the area with a rose quartz and because it's quite cold as this rose quartz has been like in air conditioning so it really helps to depuff my eyes so gently massage it outwards because the eye area is very delicate you really don't want to pull and tug at it this really helps in blood circulation and because the rose quartz is kind of like quite cold in fact it's very cold really takes away all the fatigue and the stress. I'm doing this action. It's like a lymphatic drainage. And of course, taking it to the top of my brow. Just enjoying how good it feels. I take a few minutes every day before I start my makeup to just do a lymphatic drainage massage on my face. I feel that it really helps with depuffing my face. And next, I'll be putting my favorite eye cream. It is from Dior Prestige, the Late Micro Serum for Eyes. Although this comes with this applicator, which you can just directly apply on it, but I prefer to actually take a little bit of the product on my fingertips because I don't want to over apply the product. So just a little bit of it for both of my under eye and on the top right to give it the right amount of hydration. You really don't want to over load on products 
and then it ends up not being able to absorb into your skin. Taking it outwards to anti-gravitate. So guys, when you massage your face, always go in an upwards and outwards motion. You can see that they're already less puffy. I hope. I've been experimenting with various color correctors. Ever since that day, I had really bad dark circles. And Callista thought that I had like a bruise on my eye area. I was like, where, where? And then I went to the mirror and I was like, oh my God. That day, I didn't get enough sleep. I think I had disrupted sleep and I woke up at 6 a.m. And then I was rushing, so I was piling on the concealers around my eye area and obviously did not work out very well. And when she saw me in the afternoon, she was like, Mom, you look like you have bruises under your eyes. And I was like, okay, feeling super insecure about my eye area. So I set out frantically to look for the perfect color corrector so that I could hide, conceal, make them disappear, like make them flawless again. So I've got these two palettes of color corrector. This one is by 3CE Studio. So there are six colors in this color correcting palette. So there's purple is to brighten, green is to conceal like red patches, and then there's this beige skin color. Orange is especially good for concealing under eye circles, which is why I have this palette here. I think this um, slightly pearlescent shade is for highlighting and the dark shades probably for contouring certain areas. And this is what I've been using. It's from Casalan Pateran has got two colors, one orange shade and one yellow shade. A little bit of story on this. I used to use this brand of color corrector many, many years ago. And they came in tubes, which is like a tube of orange and uh, yellow. But lately they have changed the formula and now it comes in a palette like that with a sponge tip applicator which I find it's so much easier to use than what I was using in the old days. I had to make sure that I squeeze out the right amount. Too much, too little, it doesn't work. So this is perfect and I'm glad that they improved on this. I didn't find them in Singapore. I had to order it online because Singapore stopped carrying this brand. They used to have this brand and one of my all-time favorite from this brand has got to be the under eye color corrector. So I'm going to take a little bit of the orange and just sweep it gently over the dark areas under my eyes. You can see that they are actually a lot lighter after I put an orange shade over them. So this eye, I've got the orange corrector on and this one not yet. Just look at how amazing it is. I'm going to put a little bit of green color corrector around my nose area because I've got some red veins around it and the green will actually kill the red. Always, always make sure that your brushes are clean because bacteria tend to stay on your brushes. I wash my brushes once every week. I mean, you really cannot do that every day. It takes up too much time. So I like to just put the product onto this mixing palette so that I don't use too much of it just blend it out here and make sure that it is not oversaturated on my brushes. Just go over my nose area. I don't like to like over put my products at first. I feel that it's 
easier to layer them than to have to remove it. And some dark areas at the bottom and anywhere else that you may have redness. And using a beauty blender, I'm just going to tap to spread the product. Spread it even thinner so that it doesn't look like there is a patch of a different shade on your face and blend, blend, blend. So next I'll be starting on my foundation. Today I'm going to use my favorite foundation of the moment. It is by Decote, the AQ Milority Skin Care Foundation. This one is super, super luminous on my skin. I'm obsessed with it. Ever since I got it, I've been using this foundation every day. It is not thick at all and it gives me just the right amount of coverage and because it is such a spreadable product so using a spatula I'm going to take some of this foundation out and as usual I'm going to put it onto my trusty palette so I'm just going to dot the foundation onto my face and I like to use a kabuki brush to first blend out my foundation very, very thinly. I'm going to start from my forehead, just blending it outwards. And taking a bit of flat over my under eye area and the top of my eye area as well. So guys, you can see that this foundation is actually really very, very thin. I'm putting a little bit just on my neck, just so that the color matches your neck. Just use a little bit of it to just gradually blend in. And next, I like to use the blender to just further push the product in. And if you feel that you have too much of the product, you can actually use the sponge with some rose water so that gives it some hydration. I just spritz it with some Shantikai rose water so that the foundation looks even more dewy. And next, I will be using two different shades of concealer it's from the dior forever skin correct range this is in one end i've got two n here and i've got another one which is 1.5 n depending on uh, which areas i need to conceal and if i need to go darker or fairer depending on how my skin is doing that day I think that i am going to use the 1.5 n mixed with two because i don't like to actually make it too fair under my eyes as i feel that it just looks like i have two white rings i mean yes i would like to not have two dark rings but i also do not want to have two white rings this could only be achieved through experimenting with different colors and you, you know you guys really have to um, experiment on yourself to get the correct shade and usually getting the correct shade is the hardest part so i am going to take a little bit of the number two if you guys haven't already noticed that i don't like to put the product like using the wand directly onto my face. Firstly, I feel that I am introducing bacteria into my makeup, which freaks me out because like, I don't like to think that I'm going to get an infection from my makeup products. So I took a little bit of 1.5 and, and I just put it on my palette here. So just taking a product with a flat brush, this is actually a lip brush in a smaller size. I like to use it because it's flat and it just put on the products nicely. You can see that I'm just putting 
a light layer of it under my eyes and taking it to the inner face where there would be some shadows especially I have got quite deep set eyes so I always feel that the area around here is quite shadowy and dark and taking it outwards to this area as well mixing the color as I go as I have mentioned that less is more so just putting on thin layers and see if you actually need more because the less products you put on your face the more you are letting your natural skin glow okay so I've got this part sorted out I will be blending it with a beauty blender after so I'm just gonna stop right at my tiny eye bag line I think stabbing as I go along the areas that I feel has shadows I'm just going to put the concealer on right um, the inner eye I'm just going to prime it with concealer as well before I put on my eyeshadow later just want to make sure that this area is properly primed I like to brighten the area in between my eyebrows so that I look like I have a more obvious nose bridge so that I would use the color number 1N because it's lighter so just this area I'm just gonna put the concealer right here mm -hmm. and a little bit on my chin area so that I look like I have a sharp chin let's put it on like in a triangle following the shape of your chin now it's time to blend 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 okay so I'm going to use this beauty blender and just blend out all the parts that I have concealer on make sure that all the product is one with the foundation that is sitting in very nicely don't want to suddenly have like a concealer floating on top I'm using actually soft but yet firm kind of pressing action because if you're too soft and the product is not going to sit that nicely as well so the pressure that i'm using is firm but yet gentle so the base is all set the concealer it's perfect now for the last step is to just seal this canvas with loose powder you can choose either like a, a translucent loose powder which does not have uh, much coverage at all or you can use a slightly beige loose powder which will give you a little more coverage for me i like to use something that has got a little bit more coverage for around areas uh, like under my eyes and around my nose and just on my chin area to give it a more porcelain finish because it has coverage and it will look better and for the rest of my face I just set it with translucent loose powder I'm holding right here it's actually my Shantikai loose powder in the color light I've been using this color for like years and years maybe like more than 10 years and I really love how fine the powder is so I've stuck to this loose powder for a long time but having said that I also use other loose powder to just set the rest of my face I just feel that the Shantikai one gives me just the right amount of coverage that I need I usually use depending on the coverage that I need I would choose between these two brushes to just press the powder onto the area that I want to further cover up these are actually eyeshadow brushes I'm using it to just put on powder on my under eye because I like the size and it's just nice for under my eyes so what I'm doing is to just set my under eye with this okay just a minute okay that this part 
it's not well blended. This is the step to seal everything. And after you put on your powder, you're not supposed to add like foundation or concealer on top unless you want to end up with patches. So be very, very sure that you are done with all the wet or sticky products before you powder. So this is really the powder that seals everything in. Yeah, okay. Now, just lightly tap off the excess powder, taking more to saturate it on the brush and just lightly tap off again so that you don't get too much powder on your face. Very, very gently, I just put one thin layer of this loose powder to set my under eye and you can instantly see how flawless it looks now. And the area that I had concealer in between my eyebrows, just set it as well. Just push it slightly. Okay, I like to have coverage on my nose because I always feel that the area around my nose oxidizes the makeup a lot faster than the rest of my face. So I like to give it more coverage and seal it better to last the whole day out. Last but not least, I'm using, oh, so beautiful. I mean, I love the packaging of all the decorative products. They are just so, you know, it just makes a girl feel good. Okay, I'm just gonna dab some of this loose powder around my neck area with the puff. So this powder is in a very, very light shade of pink, but it doesn't make me look pink. It is actually very translucent and powder quality is just exquisite. So, so fine and so smooth. It's almost like corn powder. Right, so using a big powder brush, I'll get, tap off the product and then just lightly dust all over my face. And I love how it doesn't completely kill my natural shine. But just to mattify it a little bit and seal in everything because it's humid here in Singapore. The humidity is so high here. I feel like I need to carry a little portable aircon just drying my face as I am outdoors. This makeup will last the whole day, even in the high humidity and heat of Singapore. So there. Voila, we are done. See you later with my full makeup on. Now that my makeup is completed, I'm just going to go with a sweep of the new Dior Lip Glow that is enriched with cherry oil. And my favorite, favorite lip maximizer in a new shade that's so pretty. And I'm done. And now with my dark eye rings all flawlessly concealed, my lips plumped up, I am ready to go. So this is my total makeup look today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one and possibly picked up a tip or two. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and do show me some love by leaving me a comment. And I will see you all next week. And a little bit on my chin area so that I look like I have a sharp chin. God gave me less wrinkles. Do not want to have two white rings. And I'm done.